What was it like? You, you played a lot of representative of the two lines. You played the, the fantastic game, the Welsh Centenary game, which you scored a cracking try, mm -hmm. and you played Babas. What was the, the dynamic like of coming into a team like? where you're not quite, you know, you're not too well acquainted with the, with the players? Well, in those days, it, it, it was quite a common thing, you know, for, for sort of scratch teams to come together. But it, it was great fun because um, you were playing with, with players that you were normally playing against, whether they be English, Irish or Welsh or even New Zealanders or South Africans for that matter. And um, it's really nice to play with these guys because most of the time they're the enemy, so to speak. And a lot of them are great guys, you know, th th there's some great characters. You mentioned the, the, the players that you played with, that you normally, you know, that was the opposition, so who are some of the, the standouts? Can you remember the many games you played for the Barbarians? Who was in the team? Well, I mean, in, in many ways, the, the, the very top Barbarian side, when we played the uh, the Touring All Blacks or, or Australia, it was virtually a Lions side that, that, that played in the Barbarians jersey. The, the only difference was that um, the Barbarian side is, is selected by the Barbarians committee and, and not the Lions. So they would always throw in one or two youngsters. They, they, they had a, a tradition of uh, playing an uncapped player. But usually you were playing with all the top brass, you know, your Gareth Edwards, your Phil Bennett's, your Bill Bowman's, your Mervyn Davis. I mean, uh, the, uh, the Barbarians at full strength, they literally could pick any, any side they wanted. How do you keep a lid on uh, this season? Because you've got League, yep. Shield, Cup, and now the Babas, so that must be quite difficult. <laughs> difficult, yes, but you know, in a way, it's it's great. You know, the kind of the momentum just keeps building, and I think uh, all the boys trying to ride the wave, uh, not get kind of too ahead of ourselves, taking kind of one game at a time. But I think, in a way, you know, we put in the kind of hard work, and we're finally kind of seeing some of the results. So you know, we're not there yet. There's still lots a lot to do, but yeah, it's great. Yeah. And the chance to face the, the Babas, how do you feel about that? Oh, you know, it's amazing. Uh, coming from New Zealand, it doesn't really happen back home, so um, to come to here, it's going to have that opportunity. I know, uh, speaking for half, half of all the boys, everyone's kind of uh, itching itching to do it. It's going to be a great day and uh, probably a good way, hopefully, to celebrate a really good season at here. It's. Uh, Ian, the Bavarians game against East Midlands in 1989, when the, the three of you who often played together here, of course, played for the Barbarians. What do you remember about the game? How, how, did, how did the invitation come about? Um, I believe it was the president, um, who may have been Jeff Windsor Lewis at the time, phoned me up. I'd actually played in the Five Nations first game against Wales with Kenny and got injured in that game and hadn't played for the whole season, for the rest of the season, and wondered if I'd be interested or fit enough to play in it. And it was an opportunity I couldn't turn down, though I did say that I'd only play for 20 minutes or so. Right. And Kenny, what, what do you remember about the game itself? Well, Ian was supposed to play for 20 minutes, but uh, uh, it was still sort of during the Six Nations and I'd just, uh, the Five Nations in these days as it were, and I'd uh, uh, got a wee bang on my head which required stitches, so I had to move off the pitch and not return because uh, I had an international the next week and Ian had to play the full 80 minutes. <laughs> David, it was 26 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, your, your memories of it are still obviously quite fresh. Do, do the Barbarians still hold as much kind of cachet now as they did then? I, th I think they do. Um, I mean, it was uh, a very memorable occasion for myself um, because I was uncapped at the time, and to get the opportunity to play in such a elite company was absolutely fantastic. But. Uh, my abiding memory of the, the fixture was my father was flown down uh, by the club to come and watch his three little boys play. <laughs> and uh, as we were lining up and get, uh, getting photographs taken, you get quite used to signing autographs uh, from school kids, etc. But there were people queuing up to get my father's autograph as he had sired these three, <laughs> three ugly brutes. <laughs>